What's going on everyone? Adam here from Adam's Nintendo World and GamesReviews.com with another episode of Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin on Nintendo Switch. In the last episode we learned about the right of channeling so that we could get um, different genes for our monsties. Which is all great and fine and dandy. But we need to continue on with the story. So we are off to slay an epic, an epic monster. So let's uh, double check that we don't have any eggs. And let's get out of here. We've done a little bit of playing off screen. Uh, raided a bunch of rare monster dens. Did a lot of other things such as getting some new weapons, upgrading weapons, things like that. Finishing off some side quests. But uh, leaving all the story quests for these uh, captures that you'll see hopefully daily for the next little bit. But anyway, let's hop on our Monsty and get going. I'm sure we could probably fast travel over to where we're going, but if we do it this way, we can find rare Monsty dens. Like this one right here. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, if you're playing this game, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking of it. Do you think it's good, bad, okay? I'm at an 8, an 8 out of 10, maybe even an 8.5. I'm not, um, I'm not as crazy about it as I was when I first started playing, like when I was going through the demo, but pleasantly happy. I'm enjoying myself, and I think ultimately that's what's most important. All right, there is a treasure chest back here. Always try to get those tre treasure chests. I mean, if they're really out of the way and I need to swap monsties and all that stuff, I mean, I skip them. But you really shouldn't, because you never know what you could get. All right, there's no monsters. Quickly grab some of these forageables. And let's see. I wish you could search while on a monstie. I mean, I know why you can't, but I wish you could. Oh, nope, doesn't smell like much. Let's change that one. All right, this is rare. Uh, give it a sniff. Uh, kind of sneaky, and it's light. Uh, let's do this again. Oh, no. Nope. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Well, when you try to go for a rainbow one, that's what can happen. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I think I usually I get, like, three pulls in a uh, rare monster den. Three seems to be minimum. So maybe if I get a uh, shiny one on my second, I shouldn't go for the rainbow shiny. Rainbow Shiny is just like super rare. But we'll take that. Like I said, not ideal, but it is what it is, and not much we can do about it. So let's keep going, see if we can find any more rare monster dens on the way. But otherwise, we'll be heading into the forest up here to fight something. Like I said, it's about game advancement right now. I can do a lot of this other stuff off screen. It's not particularly fun to watch me run through a bunch of monster dens. Um, I mean, some people would be like, ooh, I, I'd be interested in that. But I mean, in general, it's really not that interesting. I wouldn't say that's something I want to stream or capture and show. Because a monster den is a monster den. Uh, whether rare or not, they're all fairly the same. And it's not really until you hatch the eggs that you see what you get anyway. And ultimately, you're just looking for those rainbow genes. So I have a whole bunch. I, I, I'm still curious about how rare they consider a rare monster den. Because I'm, I mean, I get it. They're gold and they only pop up once in a while and you can get those rainbow genes. But is that it? Someone let me know. If, you, if you've been playing and it's different than what I've just described, then let me know. Because I'm, right now, that's how I feel about it. Like a rare monster den hopefully will give me a monster with a rare gene that I can use or you can level up if it's a good monster. But other than that, what's it good for? So I think the monsters are area dependent. I could be wrong, but I think the monsters are area dependent. So it's not like you're likely to get something you've never seen before either, right? I don't know. Oops, it's a dead end. How do I get out of here? I don't really want to fight stuff. I want to save up my health and stuff. All right. The Narga Kukas. Right up ahead, buddy. I can feel it in my whiskers. Alrighty. Where is it? It's not that thing. Let's go this way. 
Here's a... Oh, there it is. Hot damn. The Narga Kuka's shown itself. Get ready for a tough fight. Here we go, guys. Let's take this thing. That thing's massive. Can I get one of these? See, this is the rare monster I want. Okay. Famous for their speed, but I know you'll be able to handle this part. That uh, would be a handful. Okay. If this is young rider really does have what it takes to stand against one, then maybe. Oh, he's talking to himself. All right, so if he says speed, I'm going to go with a technical attack to get me started. Yeah, there we go. Speed. That's a nice little tip. Let's speed this up. There we go. Plus, press the plus button. Speed up battles. Okay, technical. And so the sword didn't work. So let's go back. And let's try the bow. Let's get back. Nope. Love how I look. <laughs> right, let's hit the bow. good. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. We found it. We're doing some quick work on this head. He's already dropped the item. And now we're moving on to technical. Oh no, that wasn't his head. Was his tail then? We're gonna move on to the head. Something's got to give, because right now, this doesn't seem overly difficult. Something's going to be coming. It's going to make this way harder. Or I'm just overpowered for this. It's possible. I don't know. I don't know if the game's... I don't know. I don't know if the game um, scales to your level, or if it's just, you know, predetermined. I don't know. I mean, usually it starts getting really angry when it's near death, so... Ooh, that did hurt. My Neon Kutku needs some... Uh... Oh. Just because I don't know what's gonna happen... Let's throw a potion on that bad boy. Alright, he's not going to attack me, so let's ride. Time to do that kinship skill. Heck yeah, baby. There it is. <laughs> That's some major damage. This thing is angry. Love these little minigames, actually. I don't like the one where you have to rotate the joystick. One, because the Switch Joy-Cons are known to be crappy already. I really don't want to start spinning my control stick out of control just to beat a monster. <laughs> oh shoot, he's gonna... Oh no, I'm okay. I think when you do a kinship attack, you heal yourself. Take that. Oh, I swapped back to my sword, didn't I? Did I? Um, switch weapons. Oh no, okay, I have my bow out. Not angry anymore? Oh, I need to get back to technical things. Seems to have lost his anger. Still, like I said, there's got to be something, because we're making fairly easy work of this guy, in my opinion. Nope. Uh, let's go skill. Poison them, nice. Ooh. And he's angry again. Um, what do we got for Let's keep poison going here. Not much health this thing has. You wonder if it's 10,000, 15,000? Yeah. 
mean, the draw is not terrible. It's better than being defeated. That hurt. Alright, he's down. You rock, no doubt about it. You're really you're already strong enough to beat a Nargaguka. I can't even say that. I haven't seen anyone improve this fast since Red. I wonder why. It's grandson, you son. Alright. I wasn't very good though. B rank. But that wasn't that hard. That was that was actually pretty easy. So there's gotta be more. It's gotta be more. You sure are strong, buddy. Kana would be so proud. It amazes me how fast humans develop. I know, right? My buddy could probably even beat you in a fight, Alwyn. They'd have to get as strong as Red first. Huh? Does that mean you and Red fought each other back in the day? Just sparring. I wanted to see how far his skills had come. I never seriously considered he might beat me. Wow! Are you saying you lost? Of course not. I don't want to talk about it. Mm. Well, hey, how about you two go at it like that now? You want to be strong like your grandpa, right? What? Where's this coming from? How about you let me referee? What the? Who are you? <laughs> Just a humble feline crossing your path. You bet your whiskers I won't pass up the chance to watch a good contest. Talk about lucky. Okay, buddy. Time to show Al when your grandpa's not the only great rider in the family. If you can win this, that'll really impress Zellard and the Elder. I suppose battling against another rider would be good experience for you, too. Okay, get ready. Cause here we... I'm not so much worried about Alwyn, I'm worried about his stupid wyvern. That's what I'm worried about. No holding back, understood? This is your first rider battle, right buddy? You're gonna wanna keep an eye on your opponent's hearts. Hearts decrease every time a rider or monster is defeated. First one who loses all their hearts loses the battle. You can't target riders with direct attacks though, only monsters, so plan out your strategy carefully. Rider battles pit you against ri other riders in duels where both of you uh, both of you can use items and kinship skills. Be first be the first one to deplete the first one to deplete all their opponent's hearts wins. Remember, you can't directly attack another rider. Okay. Um So I can't attack a rider. I have to attack a monster. Okay. I need a technical attack, so that's not good. Oh, you can't attack a rider at all. Take that, Wyvern. Oh, and your opponent can use items just like you. Using items, give Monsies orders, switching Monsies and weapons. There are all kinds of stuff you can try. Well. You need to do this. Yeah. Alan just used shock for his battle, but some riders will switch between different monsters too. Attack shot, that is. Oh, and down he goes. Okay. Advantage us. Alwyn, you've come a long way in a short time. Get out of here with that. Two shots? Get out of here. Um, Antidote herb.
Although that doesn't didn't matter. What a waste. The waste of a turn. Alright, let's uh, use a skill. Focus slash on Oh shoot. You really need to plan for this. You can't just go all out and attack. Like, this is actually going to take some work. Ugh. See, I feel like I'm just going to be always using an herb on that thing. Dang it. Dead. Crap. Maybe I'm not supposed to win this fight because, I mean, I'm just going to attack at this point because it's not looking good. I might have to come back and attempt to do it. Yeah, done again. One shot kill. What can I even do about this? There's no shame in losing its good and spirits. You're still new to all this, after all. Yeah, but now what? Maybe it doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter. In the grand scheme of the story, it shouldn't matter. But let's see. You never know. You can now participate in multiplayer battles. They're a good way to gain the experience. Access these battles from the quest board and test your skills against riders from around the world. You can also join forces with a partner for pairs battle. Victory lies in the strength of your bond. Okay, cool. We've unlocked multiplayer. Wow, sounds like fun. You should try it out later, buddy. But first, time to grab an egg. Alrighty. That was interesting. Um, I wonder if you can beat that guy. Maybe if I was a higher level. If I'd uh, gr done more grinding. Let me know in the comments. If you've beaten that guy in one go, I want to know about it. I want to hear about it. Where are we going? Give me that. All right, uh, there was golden bones here too. I don't know what that means. Pittance fang, very good for crafting. All right, let's grab an egg. Give me something good. I'm thinking of one shot at these dogs. Give me a stiff, doesn't smell like such, and it's heavy. Okay, heavy's good. The smell though, not so good, but let's head back to the village. We're gonna pop this egg open for sure and just see what it's in it. Should I fast travel? Should I fast travel? I don't know if I will. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, I probably will. If you guys are enjoying the episode, let me know. I'm really enjoying the content that we're making for this game. I'm enjoying the game. Like I said, it's not perfect. It's got some things that I don't like. And a bunch of stuff that I wish was different. And, you know, you can't have everything. The game's not going to be exactly what I want. Um, and so I live with that. And I learned to live with that. Because it's not stuff they're likely to, to patch out. Like, I still find picking up items annoying. Especially when you're riding on... Not especially. Only when you're riding on a... Um, Monsty. It just doesn't seem very accurate. Like, I can walk up to something, but I can't press A. And that's quite annoying. I also realize that... My... Fish tank is running low in water. And you can hear it in the mic. So, I'll apologize for that while I'm at it. Okay, let's head back and see what we can't do about getting this egg hatched. Like what? You're just embarrassed, aren't you? So to be a real gentleman like me at times like this, you've got to accept people's gratitude with good grace. What's the matter, Alan? 
it's, it's nothing. I just... Oh, no! You're... You're, you're sick! Let me no, help you! No, stay back! Oh, I see what's going on here! You're allergic to me lines, huh? Allergic? Just a few sneezes! Yeah, we call that an allergy! Looks like we found a cute sure. work of yours, Alwyn. Sure. <laughs> Grandfather's asking for you. Let's go and speak with him. This way. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I think we had hints of him being allergic prior to this. I think when we were in the caves and we saved that young cat... We saw him sneezing or something like that when he walked away. But anyway, we're back in the village. Let me show you what the multiplayer is here. Right here, you can go into multiplayer. Um, so you can play co-op quests or versus battle with other players through local play and online play. Tackle quests together with another player via co-op quests. Only one of you needs to complete a quest for both of you to get the rewards. In versus battles, to so challenge, challenge another player to a single battle or take part in pair battles with up to four players. Select the mode you wish to play. If you're playing co-op, you'll see other players' current quests, and versus battle rooms will be shown. Select a quest or a player to join. You can also take on new quests, create a battle room, and recruit other players. You can communicate with other players using stickers. Press the negative to select the sticker, and then A to send it. You may have up to three monsties in your party when using multiplayer. Select your monsties or manage multi multiplayer sets from the multiplayer menu. All right, there you go. And it'll just connect to the internet, and then I'm sure... All right, writer cards are profile cards you can share with other players. They allow you to share information about your party and game progress. The greeting section also lets you write a little about yourself. You can share writer cards on the multiplayer results screen. Go to, the option, go to options to enable automatic writer cards. Exchange or select players to share your cards with manually. Send your writer card to players through multiplayer. Ah, uh, we're not gonna send that right now. Okay, and then here is your options. Call quests, there you go. Seeking, seeking, create, see that? Versus battle, match ID, etc. There we go. So that's exactly how you unlock multiplayer and the different multiplayer modes in Monster Hunter Stories 2 on Nintendo Switch. That's all the information you need to get going with multiplayer, so enjoy that. All right. This is somehow turned into... Um, uh, like, let's show you how we can get multiplayer battles unlocked in Monster Hunter Stories 2 on Nintendo Switch. It's essentially what this has turned into. So, obviously you head out, do that quest, come back, and you'll have multiplayer unlocked. Okay, let's head to the stable and see what we got in our egg. Because if it's that wyvern, I want it. Most definitely. Alright, welcome back. Uh, hatch an egg. Oh, we got two eggs to hatch. Oh, yeah, we went into that uh, rare monster den. I forgot. All right. First one. Blue Yin Kutku. Um, okay, sure. All right, this is the one I'm most curious about. Flying. We don't have a flying. Do we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, that, ba that baby's going into the, uh, into the party. 100%. All right. Nope. Back in here. Let's go to edit monster party. And even if it's not that good of a monster, um, Kulu Yaku nest search. Monster search. We'll get rid of this one. This one has stealth. All right. Thank you, good sir. All right, we have to talk to the elder again. So let's head back over to the elder, see what she's got to say, and then we'll move on to the next quest. Enjoy. Elder, we're back. I am glad to see you prevail. You seem to have the potential to live up to your grandfather's legacy. <laughs> yeah! How's that for proving our worth? Not that we didn't have help. Alwyn did a great job, too. I'm so relieved. Something didn't seem right about those woods, though. All the monsters were really on edge. Is this true, Alwyn? 
Yes, sir. It's just like before. Before? When Red saved the village all those years ago. The monsters were agitated back then, too. Hmm. Is it happening again? There's no need to worry, Anna. We'll tighten security. If anything does show up, our riders will be there to deal with it. Hmm. So, what happened back then? I suppose you have a right to know. It does concern Red, after all. I'd like to tell them, Grandfather. Of course, my dear. I'll take you to the spot where it happened. Come with me. I'll come too. We'll be heading to Mount Harsgai. Make sure you're prepared. Okay. I don't really get it, but sure, let's go! Okay, come with me. There's something I need to show you. Strange occurrences continue to plague the forest even after you defeat the Nargakuka. A report that Alwyn brings to Elder Maolo conjure, conjures up old memories of Red and reminds of an awful, awful past. As Red's grandchild, you must learn about the past somehow. Anna encourages you to head to Mount Herzaga. Okay. We will head to Mount Herzaga, but that will be on another episode of Story of Seasons. Not Story of Seasons. Monster Hunter Stories 2. Wings of Ruin on Nintendo Switch. Thank you so much for being here for this episode, guys. I really appreciate it. Until next time, have a great day, and we'll see you again real soon.